Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. 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 Yes. Yes. You begin. Me begin? I began the last one. Okay, I'll start. Remember that time? I was so good at it. Are you gonna be able to live up to it? I mean, you didn't do that much. You said, hi, my name's Matt Steele. Welcome to Two Game Mats. I can do it. That is not what I said. I, I said, hey, said. everybody, welcome back to a patron-only Two Game Mats. Potato, potato. Like, I wasn't really listening. Whenever you talk, it's of kind course, of like thank you. Charlie yes. Brown's teacher, See, you know? I'm, wah, wah, wah. I'm, I'm the one here with you guys. With I'm with people, you. And you are not just. Not with you. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to 2K Mats. It's Matt Palmer. And it's Matt Steele. And we are back with another video this week and we have a fun topic that's been on our topics list for a minute. Yeah. Ever since we uh, made the bad songs on great albums video, we've always thought, what if we did the opposite, the inverse? Yes. And we did great songs on bad albums. I know, <laughs> yeah, because that's kind of like a little harder to come by. It is. Because like, for me it takes a lot for an album to be like, Bad. Like there are albums where it's just like, oh, that album was just nothing. But right. like, for an album to be like, oh, this is bad. <laughs> like, I'm saying one of mine, I think, falls into the nothing category. Okay. And then one of mine falls into the bad. One category. of mine is like a nothing minus. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to start today? I guess I'll start. Let's see it. Okay. So, so mine, my album, like I wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> Smile by Katy ah! Perry. <laughs> well, I absolutely would not call it her worst album. Okay, of course. Cockroft Witness. <laughs> but like, would anyone call it a good album? It was very, it happened and we forgot. To me, it's nothing minus. Okay. However, there are three like good songs. On, okay, there are two good songs <laughs> on that album. I think okay. Daisy's is very good. Yeah. And I think um, Harley's and Hawaii is very good. But then there is the singular song on there that is Practically a masterpiece that is Katy Perry's, one of her top three songs, Objective. Which is, and it's crazy because this song came out so long before the album I know, did. But it was so fantastic. Was so like fantastic. they were just like, oh no, we have to put this on the album because what will the album be if this song is and not on the, the album? The song generally underperformed. Like I think it peaked at 15 or Devastating. something. Devastating. And I'm like, we could not love this song more yeah. between the two of us. And this song is never really over. Uh, and I mean, I hate to be this person, but if it is her last hit, it's kind of good to it go It peaked out. at 15, is it a hit? We're counting it, okay? Okay, it's a hit amongst the gays who yes. can appreciate great pop music. And I feel like going out with a song called Never Really Over is kind of a slay, right? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Should we'll, we give it a listen? We'll give it a listen. Okay. Let's go, guys. This song is so fantastic. It's so great. Oh. Yes. Bum, bum. Uh, I'm like, who produced this again? I'll look a, it up. A genius. Someone brilliant. It's not a, Zed, a is king, it? A king. A king produced this. Uh, those marching band I drums. love it. And what a great pre. <laughs> Cause it's never really over. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better. I know. Just wait. The best. Cause it's never, never really over. Give it to over. me. Because it's over doesn't mean it's really over. And if you're thinking over, then I'll be coming over again. So I can pick up with you all over again. Ah, oh, classic. Iconic. Just because and then the harmonies. It is dead. <laughs> Are you all over again? Yes. Classic. Beautiful. Oh, I can't wait for the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already ready for it. Uh, I miss Katie. I know. Miss Where Katie. have you been, Katie? Let's go. She's promising her next album, I feel like, from her Vegas residency, but it needs to sound like this, babe. If this came out in like 2012, 2013, it would have been giant. Giant. The biggest song on the like, planet. Like, imagine this following up the Teenage Dream era. Oh my God. Like, you know, Instead Roar. Instead of Roar. I was going to say, even though Matt still hates it, Roar was a giant hit. But this. This is art. Thought it was done, but I guess it's never really over. But wasn't it the best? Give it to me again. I love the NL to get over because I it's like know. she's throwing up. It's like she's, <laughs> like, ew, she's gross. throwing up the emotion. I don't want that feeling. I love it. She's, here we go, the bridge. Let's go. I guess it's never really over. Oh, 
like great way of turning the melody of the hook on its head. I know. Brilliant. This is never really over. Uh, <laughs> Look at her. Uh, What's happening? Zed loves a clock. <laughs> and every he track does. is like a ticking clock happening. And there's just an ever so slight like whoosh. I know. <laughs> that was huge in the early 2010s. Yes. But... Uh, 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 uh. I love to get over you all over again. Yes, Look, yes, it. you know I love this. Was the last, but I guess it's never really over. Uh. Just that great bridge over the like orchestra, like the, the production of the, like the pose I know. underneath it. Fabulous. Every moment. A triumph, truly. Like Katie doesn't always hit, but when she hits, oh, she hits. God. This song is so good. I, it, it's my favorite Katy Perry song. Wow! Like it just flat out is. Teenage Dream found, found dead. dead. Found fucking dead in a ditch. I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's certainly up there. Fantastic. I'm trying to think of other songs besides Teenage Dream I like of hers better, and I cannot think of one. Well, like, well one day, Never Really Over is going to talk to you. It won't. <laughs> it won't. But it's on to my first choice. This is a song, it came back to me because I grew up and I like may have pirated this album off of like a lime wire back in like 2005-ish. And uh, this was a uh, an artist who had a single out that I liked pretty well, but I was like, I bet there's better stuff on this album. He was a spinoff of the group O-Town. And so I, when Living With You was like, I am buying this CD because it's not streaming. I remember and this. <laughs> I am buying Ashley Parker Angel's album from the internet, from like eBay or something, because I need to have this track number two. Track number on two. On the album entitled I'm Better. And so I was like, maybe there are songs as good as this song as I listened to it. No. <laughs> the first single, Let You Go, is not bad, but the fact that they chose Let You Go over I'm Better, I will never be okay with. Like this is when Max Martin was in his Since You've Been Gone bag, his Veronica's Forever bag. And how you could overlook the hit that is I'm Better, I'll never understand. And so I need us all together to listen to this. This song is not yet on streaming. We need to get it justice today because I'm Better needs to be heard by the world, by the little millennials. You know, all of those freaking Willow fans who, uh, you know, love pop rock now these days. I'm Better is here for you, babes. Okay. Okay, I'm hoping it comes up on fucking YouTube. Oh no. There's no way it's not here. Oh no. Oh my God. Turn the camera off, we, no. riot. we riot. I have it on my phone if we have to do it because I can't live without it. <laughs> I cannot believe this. I'm so sorry. This is bullshit. I'm so this sorry. This song is so fucking good. Okay, all right, everyone right, ready. Well, everyone, Listening to well, it on a fucking phone. I have to like email you the wave file or something. Whatever, sure. Edit. Can you stream it to the TV? I've tried that at this place and I can't figure it out. Wow. And you can't figure it out. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we've, Listen, never, we've never done this before. I know, just straight from an iPhone. But it'll be enough. The, the song is so brilliant. This is how fucking desperate we are for justice and for this song. How is it not on YouTube? Okay, whatever. We're listening to it now. It's called I'm Better. Let's go. And it's better than every other song. <laughs> okay. Hey. hey. <laughs> Classic! Tell me where I go wrong. Then all I got and then you get better. <laughs> Just block it out. It's cool to talk about whatever. Classic. That is good. That's a melody. That is good. My world is crashing down, and when I'm here with you, I'm better. I say you do a cover of this song and put it on your next <laughs> album. I should, just so people can have access to it. Yeah. 
Like, could you not see in a world in which since you've been gone is the biggest problem in the world? Mm. That this could be the male response that to could it. Be a big, a big and let you go is fine. It's not this. Yeah. Like when that chorus comes in, that's euphoria, people. Yeah. It's euphoria. And the chorus, it just goes up, it goes down, it goes Hello. All the way. <laughs> yes, up the octave. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I love it. That's a Matt Palmer note. You know I love that. <laughs> There's great ad libs on this last chorus too. Okay. What's the bridge? It gets rocky. Oh my life. Get those backgrounds. That face time. Oh, he's not a boy band member anymore. No way, he's a solo. He's a rocker. This, if Nick Carter had done this as his solo first single, he'd be huge. He'd be yeah. trying to do pop rock too. Mm. Here we go. When I'm here with you, I just block it out. Sing, Ashley. I'm better, I'm better. Hold it out. I'm better. I'm just blocking out. He blocks it out. <laughs> Yes, I love that. <laughs> when I'm here with you, I'm better. Classic. I'm also, I'm looking at that album Ooh. art, and it is so of that time. It was, that's the thing. It was so it was of that, that time. time. I mean, it's not a world away from the breakaway album art. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> it's really not. But I mean, that's great. I could totally see Kelly singing that could song. Could you not? Like, like, this could fit in in so many pop put, rock put it on Kelly Oki. Please. That'd be I, great. Could you imagine? Oh. We gotta email this song to her Kelly so she Clarkson, can learn it. Do you know Ashley Parker Angel? Do you think they're friends? I don't know. He does musical theater now. She likes the musicals. There's sure, a rumor. She, she lives in New York. Yes, there's a rumor she's working on a musical of her own. Okay. All right. Get Ashley Parker Angel involved. He can play I'm Better. Everybody wins. Okay, I don't know what kind of musical this would be. <laughs> so I believe I came up with this video topic. Okay. Just because I was thinking of this scenario. I'm excited about it. Because, I mean, this is the most obvious choice in like modern times okay. of like, one singular, fantastic, iconic, legendary song on an album of tracks that are not that. See, I have an, I have an idea. Maybe I'll guess, but can I guess? Yeah. Is it You Lost Me by Christina Aguilera? Oh no, it's not. That was a possible, but that would be good. Sorry for the bionic stands out there. Okay. But that album's bad. Uh, no, this is like our national anthem of the 2010s. Okay. Work Bitch by Miss oh. Britney. Gene I mean, Spears, come on. because Work Bitch is one of the greatest songs ever penned. Yes. It is just like her signature song of the 2010s, I feel. Absolutely. And Britney Jean also happened. I did. It, it did happen. <laughs> it did. And even she admits in her book, like, yeah, that happened. Yeah, it's like, but we, she I, says, I was so proud of Work Bitch. And she should be. It is a classic piece of music. The moment I heard it, I remember I was, for some reason, on a trip to a winery. I was like, I have to stay up until like midnight or whatever, because that's when Britney's new single is being released or leak, getting leaked or something. And I heard that and I was like, Fuck. I know. The thing is, Fuck. like, when I heard that the song was called Work Bitch, I was like, oh my god, this sounds so basic for like 2013. Like, of course it's gonna be called Work Bitch. No. Like, what are you gonna do? Just chant throughout the entire thing and it's gonna be like dance music in the background? Oh, that's so basic. And it was that, but it basic it was not. It was it, not. It is just like everything about it, just the the lyrics, the attitude, just that repetitive pounding you over the head with that same like like music over and over and over again. It's like hypnotic, Ugh. you know, like it's just. And just hilarious. It's just like the lyrics of just like, so you want a Lamborghini, look hot in a bikini. <laughs> like classic poetry. You want a hot body. Oh, and then that music video where everything's just exploding. I know it's great. <laughs> oh, and that, that cover's so good. It's great. I love that cover it's of her great. and that like V all the way down to her like freaking like belly button. She looks great. Oh, I want to watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
Oh, she looks great. <laughs> and I love these. <laughs> yeah, they're so good. <laughs> it's like, the song is like threatening to start. I know. <laughs> it just it won't. <laughs> You better work, bitch. I mean, I do want all those things. I do. Sip martinis. Look hot in a bikini. Yes! You better work, bitch. You wanna live fancy. Live in a big mansion. Party in France. What? Doesn't really rhyme. <laughs> Whatever, it's great. You better, better work, work bitch. bitch. Perfect line. No, get to work, get to bitch. Work, bitch. <laughs> it's uh. just like a mantra. Like, just get to work, bitch. No, get to work, bitch. And just like a chorus of nothing. Nope. I love it. Why would you need any more just happening here? Don't we have an old video where we talk about this song and Versus Wrecking, Wrecking Ball, Ball and, and you don't time, like Work Bitch in it? I didn't say I don't like it. I say I like Wrecking Ball more and how wrong I was. <laughs> you were wrong. Here, Here comes the math. Here, Here comes, comes the, the big beat. Big beat disaster. No time to get it down. Huh. And it builds 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 and then it gets down. quiet again. Ah, sit martini. Look hot in a bikini. We need to work bitch and hot by Janelle Monet mashup somehow. Oh, that'd be amazing. Please. You better better work, bitch. You better work, bitch. You better work, bitch. What are the instructions, though? You better. Now get to work, bitch. Oh, now get to work. Okay. I love that the pillars explode. Of course. (laughs) Everything's exploding. Uh, Ah. Uh, 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 like uh. this would have been a fine, like I'm going to Vegas, here's my new song. An album really wasn't necessary. No. Like just yeah. make it, I'm releasing a single. Tell somebody in your town. <laughs> Spread the word. Iconic. Go call the governor. Like the governor? What? Don't mean to trouble ya. Call me the bubble up. <laughs> Bad bitch. The bitch that's the love enough. Bridge. Oh. Sing. It's kind of singing. Fingers to the sky. Uh. But they can't deny ya. And higher. Uh. Fingers to the sky. And is this like the last like signature choreography move for a song like ever? Um, I like, mean, because this I, is classic. I can't think of like one more recent. I can't either. Oh, wait, when do we do? Out. I want this one Work too. It Work, Work, it it out. Out. Work, Work it out. Work it out. Work it out. I love the harmonies here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Just that build. The song just explodes everywhere. Like everyone's exploding in the video. I know. Oh, Oh, that's a classic. It's a classic. It's truly so fucking excellent. I could blast this every day of my life and it would get me in the mood for everything. It'll always bring you joy. Like, there's no way to maintain a bad mood if you're listening to Work Bitch. I know. Because by the end of the song, you're just like, I'm just thrilled. (laughs) Okay, so I guess I did mention this song already. Sorry, but when I tell you that Christina Aguilera has made so many incredible ballads in her career, Half of which are on Stripped. You know how I feel about The Boys Within. Yeah. Beautiful, goes without saying. Like, just an excellent, excellent balladeer, lifelong vocalist. And she comes out with an album entitled Bionic, Mm -hmm. which, you know, there are some defenders of in the chat probably as we speak. But for me, it was like, we're really trying to do electronic stuff without a good electronic producer behind us. And we're doing, we're shooting for the moon and aiming in the toilet. So (laughs) that being said, there is a ballad on this record that I maintain is Sia's best song written for a pop artist ever. It was one of the first. This is before Sia, you know, was Chandelier Sia and like was writing everybody's songs Mm -hmm. all the way through. But when I fucking tell you that you lost me, 
is Christina's greatest ballad, oh. if not greatest song. It's fantastic. It is devastating, it yeah. is heartbreaking. The restraint in her voice that she uses for most of the song, or at least for the first half, it builds to such a beautiful chorus that is so like, you can feel it. Like sometimes you can hear a great vocal and be like, ah, oh, they're really feeling what they're saying. And it's like, oof, I think her marriage is over. <laughs> like, sometimes <laughs> it's like when I first heard Mia and Mariah, the Lucy of and I was like, mm-mm, that marriage is over. <laughs> so you would put this ballad over beautiful? I think I would. Oh, Just shit. Not in like cultural importance, obviously. Sure, sure. But in like, greatness. Well, also the great thing about this is like, it, as you said, it is so restrained. Yes. And Christina is usually not so no, restrained. Like she a... usually just growls and goes and, and, and you know, of course she can. So like, it's always great when she does. Right. But like with this, it's just like, oh no, this is like a different side to her. Yes. Like it's really like something special and yes. wonderful. All the fireworks are very earned. Oh, oh smoking gun. Piano. Yes! Even Pink, who like fucking hated her at this point, had to tweet like, I just heard you lost me by Christina Aguilera. That girl can fucking sing. Shit. Mm. And like how straightforward lyrically. Like, the piano, give me some arpeggios. I love an arpeggio, you know I do. Mm. Oh, and this. I, I love the pre. So oh, delicate. I know. You could tell she wanted to growl there. I know, but she see, it was like, no, <laughs> not yet. And what a line. I feel like our world's been infected. Mm. Because how do you come back from this? Mm. Like the only other time I can remember her sounding like this was a song on Back to Basics where she's very restrained. Mm. It's a song about getting married. Let me find out what it's called. Mm. Mm. You lost me. You lost me. Ah, oh, put that beat in. Save me from myself. That was another great vocal performance because she has a great softer voice, you know. Mm. Mm. Give me a cello. Yes. I've never met a cello I didn't like. Oh my god! I mean, hello. You can't deny. Oh, give me the give me the pre again. Let's go. <laughs> it's coming. Oh, it's on her voice. Get ready, people. <laughs> Fireworks are happening. And that harmony. It's so good. Brilliant. Whoa. Like this song to me does what I feel like she thought Hurt was doing. Remember that song Hurt? No. She essentially was trying to do, I'm a big vocalist. This is the beautiful of Back to Basics. Okay. But it's truly just her yelling. Okay. And this, every yell is earned. Yeah. No. Every belt is earned. The melody stands on its own. If she wanted to whisper it the whole time, it would be just as affecting. You yeah. know what I mean? Like the song craft can't be beat. Yeah. And Sia, congratulations on writing a fucking perfect song. You deceive me. Don't regret it. But it's too late. How can I ever trust you again? Yes. Oh, that's a vocalist. That's a vocalist. And the song like feels like a classic, like it the does. first time you hear it, because it it's does. so effortless. 
Yes. Babe. Babe. You lost me. You lost me. Fantastic. That is a, That's a fantastic song. piece of music That's that I song. will never get sick of. All right, now that you've heard it again, you lost me, you're beautiful. <sighs> I mean, I, that, like it's that, so that it's, good. it's just a little more, it's just a little more mature and just like that pre, <laughs> like that the pre, pre, the pre just sets it above. It's everything. Heart wrenching, like, heartbreaking. I will say another song that is good on Bionic is a song called Vanity, which is completely opposite of that song. V is for vanity. I also Every like time you look I also like Woohoo. Woohoo is fine. <laughs> Woohoo is fine. But again, we're talking about three songs that are like 25. So okay. those are what we could have kept. Yes. But Man Alive, You Lost Me is one of the perfect songs that I have lived through. From the first time I heard it, I was like, yes, fucking absolutely. Mm. And I think more people need to know about it. People have forgotten the song and it deserves so much more because it's her greatest ballad, if not song. Okay. Yeah. You know what? You know, it's it's great to even have one great song. Not yes. everybody has that. It's so like, it, it, even if the rest of the album is bad, at least you got the one. You got that one. You know, we can celebrate that. So tell us below, do you have any uh, great songs that appear on bad albums that you'd love to share with the class? We'd love to hear about them. Make sure to follow us the on class. Class. You know, all the class. We're going <laughs> okay. to learn. We yes. are teachers. Absolutely. Okay. Yes, we Absolutely. are the professors. Um, also, make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Matt Palmer Music. And uh, it's Matt Steele. And at Two Gay Mats for both of us. Uh, we have a podcast that comes out every Monday. It's called Two Gay Mats CWO. Wherever you get your podcast, you can find us and listen. Uh, we also record that podcast live on YouTube most Sunday nights, 6.30 p.m. This Sunday, Matt Steele's out of town, so it'll be a pre-tape with my friend Rory, but it will be premiering at 6.30 p.m. on Sunday night, so be there for that. And we also have a Patreon. If you like us and want to see extra bonus content from us every week, go to patreon.com slash 2 to support us. We would very, very much appreciate it. And Matt Steele, yes. who do we need to give shout-outs to We today? need to give a shout-out to our fantastic, legendary patrons. Yes. And their names are Jen, Jacob, Jeff, Montana, Matthew, Jesse, Dallas, Sarah, Sam, and Dr. Woods. Thank you guys so much, and thank all of you for watching. We'll be back soon with more 2K Mats. Bye. Bye.